I want to try this time is solid here. It sounds cool. Full screen. Full screen! Wow! Um... Wait. Only goes up in... Okay, I mean, fuck it, we'll go there. We'll put everything up to... That, I guess. Uh, okay. Oop, I full screened. Alright. Let's, uh... Let's go. It's a time is solid here. Do I control this? Oh, okay. Critically acclaimed. Uchi, I, okay, didn't have time. Pardon me. Whew. <laughs> Got some acid reflux going on. Ah. The art by Luke something and oop, open GAN. Is that like a AI art thing? Content one of this game features sudden and disturbing image. Okay. Cool. Wasn't able to read that. I don't know where you are. However, a small voice begins to call to you from within. It says, walk around using the arrow keys or the <laughs> mouse. Okay. Wait, what did that say? Uh, excess, uh, go back to me, uh, double tapping. Okay. Did it say interact with space? Yeah, it did. Oh, this is AI art. 100%. There is a painting here. There is a painting here. Okay. What's my face? Uh. Okay. It's weird that I like this kind of weird art. That's kind of like creepy, but makes you think. I like that kind of shit, personally. Why is there no art down here? You'd think there would be. This is an odd-shaped building. No. That is a... TUMOR! You've got something on your face, um... you got a little something on your face there, uh, Hello again, we know each other! I see you found your way to the entrance. It's a shame, but many a soul have gotten lost in our lobby alone. in our lobby alone. No matter. The name's Charon. What, Charon? Oh, Ch Sharon? Like, the, 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 it's Sharon, isn't it? Yeah. Sharon, the, um, River Styx dude. Yeah. Oh, it's Trump. <laughs> Pleased to make your acquaintance. Oh, look at you. The strong, silent type. Tis a shame, though I would have some, uh, I would have someone to keep me company. But this, uh, there's more important things, I guess. I should get to why you are here. See, I got word, and now I'm not sure if it came from upstairs or downstairs, per se. But I got a word that these paintings need cleaning. And look, I don't want to do the work myself, so it's a damn miracle you came along. See, it has been... Well, about 70 years since I've seen someone. So, let's just say your work will be very much appreciated. Well, what are you standing at? What are you staring at me for? Oh, I see. You want to save your game, right? I can do that for you. There you go. Oh, okay. We saved. Some context, please. So you can talk, huh? See, to answer your question, mate, I gotta think. Think hard. And that requires effort. See, you have really- uh, you haven't really done anything for me at this point. Clean some of the paintings and it'll be a different story. Remember, I always- I'm always here uh, if you've got a save. Or if you get lonely. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay. There is a painting here. Would you like to clean it? Yes. 
Are these like different level? Hello? Hello? Who are you? A painting cleaner? Huh. Painting cleaner? The only one else here should be... Well, whatever, uh, whatever it was, it has long left my mind. As for me, I'm... My name is... I forgot. How embarrassing. Anyway, I have been having a problem. Uh, th uh, though I cannot remember what my problem was. Is it memory, by the way? Oh, I, I see now. The problem is I forget things. Well, I do remember something. Behind me lies a maze, which is something especially cruel for someone like me. Can never seem to make it far. But for some reason, I really want to find what lies at the center of it. Now I forget exactly why, but you seem to have a go get attitude necessary for such a task. So, could you please help me? Tell me what awaits for me there. I'll wait right here, as not to disturb you or anything. Okay. There is a note here. It reads, Forgive me, Ava, for I will see you on the other side. E. Maybe her name's Ava? I'm gonna stick to my classics and stick to the left. Just stick to the left. That way, you can never be lost. Can this be pushed by any chance? No, it's just there. Okay. How do I know what's at the center? Like, how do I know where the center is? What's this one? There is a note here. It reads, I hate you more than anything else in this world. E. Okay. They had a great relationship. Uh... I go that way? Nope. Okay, there's nothing in there. We'll keep going around. Maybe this isn't even that much of a maze. Watch this. It's gonna be like the simplest fucking thing in the world. There's a note here. It reads, Those voices, do you hear them? The ants, do you see them? Okay. E. Is this going to be like some kind of story where it's going to turn out that Ava's actually re leaving all these or something? I don't know. There's a note here. It reads, There's one thing for sure. Your thoughts cannot be trusted anymore. The drawings are getting worse and worse, I've noticed. Okay, I can't go that way. Uh, nothing that way. Gotta go down here. There's a note here, it reads, Those nights we spent together, you remember them, don't you? Okay... Okay... Go down this way then. There is nothing that way, that's fine. I don't think there is a way! Unless it was to the right of me at the start of the map. Yeah, it must have been. Alright, we'll keep going this way then. It's not the hardest map, I think. Oh wait, there's something up here I want to see. I feel there is a monster growing inside of me. Who knows, the very same could happen to you. Okay. Anything this way? No. I love you more than anything else in this world. Yeah, this person is going through some severe, like, BPD.
Uh, stick to this side. There's a random thing there. Remember, we're sticking to our left. So we don't miss anything. Although I think I found my way. Text. The text to has been censored. Okay, so I've got. I think that's the way I've got to go in there. But before I go in there, I want to check out everywhere else because I've got a strange feeling there's going to be some more notes, and I want to read the notes, like all of them. Okay, I can't go that way. It's in there. I see where I've got to go to get to it. I like how the music's slightly distorted as well. Uh, this is Mr. Karabakian. You have found him, or perhaps he has found you. Okay. Is there anything else further down that I've not come across? No, I've gone everywhere else. Okay. Right, into the center. Hopefully it's nothing bad. This isn't even the worst maze I've ever come across. Oh. What the fuck are you doing in here? Finishing the maze. You have no idea what you are doing, do you? Look. I'm the guy who built the deer maze. See? And what you're doing right now, well is fucking it right up. So I'm going to need you to turn around where you came from and let me work in peace. Why? You young people, always with the fucking questions. I, w I wish to God I wasn't dead right now because if I was, good sir... You're dead? Oh, don't act like you're surprised by it, kid. Everyone here has kicked the bucket. Just some, uh, just some more than the others. And I, unfortunately, seem to be among uh, those more so folk. Listen, I don't even think I'm real. I'm, uh, the real me is about a thousand miles that away, playing fiddle with the man downstairs. If you don't know, if you know what I mean. Ah, hell. If it, uh, but that doesn't matter. That for that's for me. Well, that doesn't matter. But that doesn't mean that me that's here can't have some fun. See, when I was alive and kicking, I had the uh, the misfortune of living with my wife for the last fifty years. Oh, uh, fifty years. It was like she was bad. She wasn't even bad or anything. But you know, I'm fucking up my words. Even if you have a uh, flaming yawn for dinner every night, you start hankering for something else. But it's fine. Uh, came up with ways to entertain myself. You see, though I passed before my wife, my brain went first. And here's the kicker. I got quite the, ri the rise out of it. When it began, I started writing notes and drawings all around the house, see? Some were nice, some were not. All were cryptic. They were poison uh, to her ailed brain. But she read them all the same. Soon, she would forget which ones uh, she read and which ones she hadn't. Eventually drove her mad. I, st I stopped writing them not long after. My job was done. Boy... The fun I would have watching her wandering the house, going upstairs, read my notes, and down again, and doing the same thing. Now I get to do the same, but bigger and bigger. Bigger and better. If I have it my way, she'll be wandering this maze for eternity. Yeah, no, I'm stopping this. Well, what are you going to do about it? Listen, I may not know much about this place, but I know this. It's for people who can't move on. That bitch, God bless her soul, still loves me. And have uh, and have fun trying to convince her to stop. In my 50 years of treating her how you would expect to, uh, expect I did, even I couldn't manage that. Plus, 
For her to move on, she would have to remember what was happening, right? Not to mention, if you convince her to get out of limbo, I'll be trapped here forever, alone. So don't do it if you have any smidgen of sympathy for the little old me. But I shouldn't worry very much. That's a fat chance you'll be able to change anything. I'm just going to sit here, continue working on my maze, uh, making this maze even bigger. Bro, you're a twat. That's what you are. Nothing there, okay. Can I talk to you again? Alright, fuck it. Fine, we're gonna go back. I'm gonna go back and tell her. I'm gonna go tell her. I'm a tattletale! Yeah. Let's go tell her. Uh, I think I'm going the right way. I think it's like straight down. This way. I think. Yes, it is. Okay. This maze isn't very big. Did you do it? Did you reach the center of the maze? Yes. I knew you could do it. I'm so proud of you. Well, tell me, what was it the in the in uh, bleh, what was there at the center? Your husband. Oh, really? I don't remember much, but I can never forget my unending love for Elias. Elias? What is he doing? He's toying with you. I'm telling the truth. Is he really? So all those notes then, before and after I... I... He was getting a rise out of my plight? Why would someone do that? I have shown him nothing but love. Some people are evil. Clearly so. I just feel silly, you know? I did so much for him, for so long. And now the egg is on my face. You can move on now. You know what? You're right. I'll show him more than anything. I don't see how uh, I don't see a purpose in staying any longer now. Maybe it's my memory, but the thought of just leaving this place behind never occurred to me. But now it seems like the best thing to do. Thank you, little one. You helped me realize a lot of things. Things that I had long con uh, convinced myself were impossible to work out. And most of all, thank you for being honest with me. Honesty above all! Honesty above all. Looks like you managed to help Ava move on. Congrats, buddy. Though seeing that it was just a maze, uh, stroll and a heart to heart. I'm a tad embarrassed I didn't do the job myself. Nevertheless, the amount of work you saved me is commendable, to say the least. I know you must be chomping at the bit to hear about what's happening to you. So I decided to field some uh, prep-approved questions for, uh, from you. What? Now, you've only cleaned one painting, so I won't be too loose-lipped. But you should feel free to talk to me if you want to learn about what's going on. And if you hunger for more information, there's always those two paintings. Now, what can I help with? Well, first off, save the game. And then, talk. Okay, let's talk, little man. For now, these are my pre-approved conversation topics. Monster trucks are Sharon's favorite food. What's your favorite food? Favorite food? Um, I don't have a favorite food. In fact, I um, I don't know anything about food. I just sounded like a nice thing for someone to t ask me about. Do you mind telling me about food? Tell me about pizza, burgers, dumplings, meatloaf, tacos. I'm going to tell you about pizza! Hmm. A disc of dough filled, um, f uh, filled as it is with meat and cheese. Sounds good, but I'm not sure if that would be my favorite. All right, let's talk. Uh, monster trucks. As for monster trucks, I know jack shit about them. I would certainly know nothing uh, from Grave Di uh, from Grave Digger with its 540 cubic inch Merlin 1450 HP HP engine and uh, Cohen 2 speed transmission, or the fact that it can often often steal the show from my personal favorite Overkill Evolution. 
John seems to know more about monster trucks than he thinks than he's letting on. Okay. So how many paintings are there in total? One, two. Oh god. How okay. Next painting, I guess. Let's clean the painting. This is an odd one. There's a keypad here. There's a keypad here. Drainage pipe and then see if there's anything in this drainage pipe, just in case. Damaged pipe. Okay. This way, I guess, then. Hello? A voice is speaking to you over the intercom. Hello? Hello? Hello, hello? Oh, I'm just messing with you. This is a recording. Listen, you... I have designed this place with full intention on keeping people out. I take that very... I take the very fact that you are standing here as a failure. A big one. But there's nothing I can do about that now. Except this. Behold! Super mega awesome security system! See, I found a way to let my uh, loved ones through here. Now, to say that anyone has been visit Not to say that anyone's been visiting me lately, but that doesn't matter. Look, to get to me, you'll have to answer riddles. Hard ones. Whoever you are, there's no way you're getting through. He he, I bet you're really scared now. Well, I'm not gonna hold it in any longer. Here's the first riddle. Are you ready? Yes. Well, it doesn't matter if you're ready or not. So here's the riddle. This someone is my grandma's child. And my grandpappy's child as well. But they are nobody's son. Who is it? Do it now. If you mess up, okay. There is someone who is my grandma's child and is my grandpappy's child as well. But they are nobody's son. Who is this someone? It's your mother! The door unlocked. You, you got the answer, but how? That's fine, I guess. But you won't get through the next room. You find it, uh, you find behind the big door. All right. Okay, I'm here. What now? Hello. If you listen to this, that means you made it through the first room. I have no clue how you did that. You must be really smart, or the person I'm looking for. But could you, could you be her? Whatever. Enough of that. We are moving on to the next riddle. Are you ready? Of course you are. Now here it is. A cloud is my mommy. The wind is my papa. When I grow up, streams and rivers will be my, uh, will be sons of my own. And I guess that makes fruits and veggies my daughters. When I die, you'll find me in the dirt. That's if I die, though. Remember, input your answer in the key. Okay. Water? You must be just water, right? Suddenly a thought appears in your head. You're about to see the text input screen. Select your input user, but, uh... Wait, what? Water, right? Or is it only a four thing? Oh, wow. Hold up. Oh, um, how do I... How do I delete that? Oh, there we go. Maybe wind? Uh, N, B, wind? Okay, it's wrong. He looks like you were wrong. Get out of here. Don't tell me I have to do it all again. Oh, I can just click. Uh, okay. 
Okay, here's a riddle. There is a big person and a little person. The little person is the big person's son. But the big person is not the little person's father. Who is the big person? There's a big person and a little person. The little person is the big person's son. But the big person is not the little person's father. Who is the big person? How many? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six? There's a big person and a little milf. The little person is the big person's son, but the big person is not the little person's father. Can't put stepdad. Uh, what? The little there's a big person, and a little person. The little person is the son of the big person. The big person is not the father. Mother? It must be mother. Yeah! Knew it had to be mother. Okay, you got the answer, but how? That's fine, I guess, but you won't get through the next room. Mother, I crave violence. Oh, what the fuck? Here's to be a hammer here. Would you like to pick it up? Yes. You obtained a hammer. There's something here. For you, there is a note here. What appears to be a metal panel. It reads, for you. Look at the metal panel. It feels like it's been nailed down quite tightly. Would you like to use the back of your claw hammer? Yes. It looks like there is a message written in very tiny script beneath the panel. No matter how hard you try, you aren't able to read it. There's eyes all around me right now. There's um, some picture here. There's a photo here with a note. It reads, you. It appears the frame is fastened to the back with nails. Would you like to... Yes, okay. Is there anything behind it? For some reason, there looks to be uh, a grabber that was hidden in the painting. You take it. I've turned the grabber. Is there going to be something in one of these? Oh, there's something in it. You can see something hidden inside. With the grabber, you should take it. Reach in. Yep. Grass, a cold slink of metal object. Magnifying glass. All right, go back over here. Uh, it reads, for you. Message saying, uh, visual aid, would you like to use the magnifying glass? Yes, I would. You are barely able to make out the words. It reads, the password is 6174. I love you. Okay. Uh, 6... 1... Seven. Oh. The door unlocked. Hey. What is this? Oh. You. You're not her, aren't you? That's okay, though. Because I... I haven't re... Uh, I have the real her right here. Look, look. Is this some kid that lost his mom? I feel like this is like the afterlife, like at Limbo, and I am being like trained or tested to see if I can be the person who works at Limbo that helps them settle and move on. I feel like that's going to be the story. Uh, who is her? She, she's sniff, sniff. I have a feeling someone like you would come. You want to pull me out of this place, right? To help you move on. 
move on. Hmm. Well, I'm staying put right here. Painting feet, uh, planting my feet right down right here. See, I have unfinished business in this river. And I'm going to stay as long as it takes for me to deal with it. Well, what happened? Listen, mister. As you may know, I really like puzzles. Love them to death. This love came from someone very special in my life. My mother. Every Sunday, she would sit me in her lap and we would do crosswords together. Not to mention those checkered ga uh, checkers games or big jigsaws that would take up the entire floor. Our favorite game though, was Marco Polo. You know, the one where you both get in the water, one calls out Marco, the other one says Polo, you gotta find each other. Some people wouldn't, uh, wouldn't call it a puzzle, but these people are losers. It totally is one. Playing in it that big river, playing it in that big river downhill from our house, there was nothing better to do. And then one day, then what? Then, then one day I went to play Marco Polo, and started all the way at the bottom of the river. I was so far away; it was a miracle I could still hear Mom's voice. It took me half an hour to get close, but when that happened, when I went up the river. My mum's voice changed. Or maybe I was not hearing it the right the whole time. It sounded, well, like my dad's voice. Now, I don't think it was a big, didn't think it was a big, ish, big issue. My dad, I saw him sometimes. He seemed nice. But yes, as I got closer, I realized it was my dad. I got up next to him and opened my eyes. I asked him, uh, I asked him where mum was and he said, with her new friends. I asked what he meant, and he said I would see her soon anyways. He then grabbed my arms, grabbed them real hard, I could feel his nails. I asked him why he was doing that, and he said, relax, it's just a game. Then pushed me under the water and held me down there for a really long time, a really, really long time. In that moment, I, th uh, I thought of the darndest thing. I thought of the games I played before. And the ones I would never get to play. I thought of my mama. But most of all, I couldn't stop thinking about my dad's eyes. They were wide open, but he was staring right through me. It was like he was daydreaming, thinking about a place far, far away. And then, just like that, I woke up here. It was lonely at first, but now I have her and my puzzles, just like I used to. Now the only thing left is to wait for my real mama. Then we'll start playing together and picking up where we left off. That is why I can't make you can't make me leave this place. The newest puzzles of mine has yet to come to an end. But what do you think? I can help you move on. Can you? Can you really? I just can't see how I can leave uh, where, um, where my papa is still out there with those eyes of his. This game got dark. I don't know why, but through that, make, uh, the thought of that makes my skin crawl. And my mama. I miss her. I miss her a lot. Can't I just wait here for them so I can sort things out? You will see her again. Really? Is there a place after this where I can do that? Yes. That 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 makes me happy. Listen, mister, I think I've decided now. I'm going to leave all of this. I'm going to leave it all behind. There's a better place for me to be. And I think I think that well me staying here, staying all mad and sad. I have a feeling that um that is what my papa wanted all along. I shouldn't let uh, let him control me like that. Well, that shouldn't be it. That should be it. Mister, I can't thank you enough. Alright. Off we go. Oh, hi. It appears the doll from before has moved into this room somehow. 
Its mouth is beginning to move. Tack. Tax Javi. I don't know what that means. The doll isn't moving anymore. Can I talk to you now? Looks like you managed to help a little lad move on. I must say, I don't think I didn't think you had it in you. The kid was really sob was a real sob story. Glad I didn't have to get involved. You know, I'm uncomfortable around that kind of stuff. But anyway, you really you really took a load off a load off my shoulders doing that. Uh, I'm feeling like we could be a very good friends. And you know what friends do for each other? That's right. They give explosions. What? Explosions? Explosion? I, I I might have read that wrong. I think it's finally time I'd be uh, I begin telling you what's going on. So feel free to talk to me about it. And what can I help you with? Well, first of all, save the game. And then... talk. Is there anything you want to learn about? For now, these are my pre-approved conversation topics. Who are you? This is certainly an interesting question to ask. Let me put it this way. Maybe in another life, the, Char the Charon, or Charon, you know, would be um, the captain of a boat. Not a big boat, mind you. I can't say I'm a, f uh, I'm a summit kind of guy. But maybe a chance. A long one. And on this canoe, I'd take people around, bring them to where they need to be. So yeah, this is the Greek mythology of Sharon. I feel like that sums up pretty well. Okay. Let's talk. What is this place? This is going to be some kind of limbo. Could ask the same question myself. Um, look, I do know this. There, uh, there is an upstairs and a downstairs in this world. But if you noticed, um, when you came in, you went sent. You went sent which way? Down, up, and down again. What? See, this place is somewhere in between. It. Oh, Alexa, stop. Sorry, I just got to turn off the heat. <laughs> Okay. For people whose fate are somewhat hard to de uh, decide. No endless hellfire and no heavenly banquets either. It's no wonder a place like this is so st uh, stock still. A little boring, if you ask me. Alright. This. Hoi. That painting over there. It's a dangerous one. I would save with me before you head in there. At least you risk losing everything. You know what? Fine. We just had the conversation with him. We'll save. We'll save. Boom. Saved. Alright, here we go. Let's go into this one, I guess. Alright, yes. Let's see how dangerous this one is. Oh, it's dark. There's a placard on the wall. In the middle of this place, you will find the energy generator. Your journey begins there. Can I click on any of this? Would you like to rummage around on the inside of it? Yes. Oh! Here's a lot um, lockers on each side of the wall were connected. You merged on the other side. Oh, no. Okay. There's stuff everywhere. Okay, would you like to rummage around on the side? Yep, see what's around here first, I guess. I obtained a key card. Oh. Why am I moving so quick? Generator of sort. Would you like to turn it on? Yes. Emergency lights have come on. The sound is coming from outside. Something happened. Oh! Fucking! Ha! Oh! Scared shit out of me. Jesus! Fucking Christ! 
All right, we'll try that again. Ah, oh, it's fucking horrible. There's shit everywhere. It looks like you can use them for quick getaways. That's what I'm getting from this. I'm gonna use this instead. Can I go that way? Yes, go through. Do this. We're gonna go out of here, go up, and go through there. That's the plan. Alright, there's a noise. I don't know where the key's gonna be. I'm gonna try a small metal object. A, a key! Oh, there's more keys! How do I know where to check? Are they all in these, like... Oh, no, no, no. I don't want- I don't know where this thing could be. I'm scared. Oh, it's down there. Don't... Don't appear. I swear to God, if you appear- ah! Shit, shit, shit. Oh, okay. Oh, what do I do now? Oh, it's left me. It's left me alone. It's left me alone. Okay. Have I found all the keys? At least some of them. Cool, 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 cool descriptor. Right, please tell me that's all of them. I swear it's- I found, like, all of them. I- uh, I can see where the other rubbish is. Boom, that has to be it. That has to be it. Yes! I'm in. Um. What am I, what, where am I walking? Like this place looks like it's made of meat. The music as well. <laughs> it is. Odd. Oh. Is it necessary to be going this long? Oh, um, who, who are you? Get a little closer, kid, so I can see you. Stay where I am. Suit yourself. Cough, cough, yak. Who are you? I am really fucked up. I'm here to help. If I had a nickel for every time I heard that, I'd... I'd have a lot of nickels. <laughs> nah, funny joke, but I've heard that I'd have a shitload of nickels. Version. Um, see, the type of people who say that shit, well, they're not the type of people that did the same things I did. It's one of those, uh, one of those takes, one, uh, one to know one sort of thing. 
What did you go through? Why should I tell you? I guess you're the first person I've ever, I've ever seen in here. Maybe I owe you an explanation. I am... was a soldier. The kind where you had to shoot people. I can't even remember why I became one. I think because my dad was one, and his dad was one. God, I didn't even think. Maybe it was uh, those games I played, uh, the old ones, with the cheer, um, with the chips and chirps, and the one-man armies who would overcome all odds and slaughter hundreds. I think you should really, I think you should already know that I am, um, that it's not like that in real life. People barely making by, fighting with scraps and determination against a force that shoved a boot down their throats. Well, the uh, words. There are ones with shot. Uh, there are ones we shot with high-powered explosive rounds miles into the, away in the sky. But still, I found a way to justify things. They drew first blood. Look at the cruel things they do, and on and on. Listen. Do you know what they were told to do when a moving vehicle entered our sights? Go, take point, uh, take pot shots at them. We said it was okay. They knew the roads were off limits. And we always promised to shoot, and we always promised to shoot the ground in front of them first. None of that was true. And do you want to know the worst thing? I enjoyed all the killing. When I'd hit someone miles away going really fast, the guy next to me would put, um, put me on, uh, what? The guy next to me would pat me on the back and smile. Good job. It was much different than a game. It wasn't much different than a game. And that was just the beginning. Shooting these drivers who were just trying to leave. It made the people there mad. So they threw rocks at us, and then threw explosives too. We responded by kidnapping nearly every man in the, in the middle of the night. After that, we, a friend of mine showed, uh, showed me a picture. In it, they had made a pyramid of naked, shivering, dying prisoners, and they were standing behind them, smiling. Taking the photo, taking the photo in my hand, it felt as if I was staring into hell itself. Even then, though, there was this part of me. This part of me that bubbled up from the inside. It reveled in the suffering of those people. Felt they deserved it. When, uh, what was, uh, what was inside of me? It was a monster, no doubt. And it was beginning to, sp uh, split away. I felt I had no choice. I downed a bottle of liquor that, ma uh, that made my throat burn and took a drive in the mountains. That is the last thing I remember. It's no wonder then that I'm in the place like this. What about you though? I've talked long enough. Felt like you feel like it's your turn. Why are you here? Look at you, the silent face. Do you even know? Ooh, do I know why I'm here? I feel like I know why I'm here. I'm to be the new Helper, but I can say I don't know. I'm gonna be honest. I appreciate your honesty at least. Listen, I can help you figure out what's going on. I believe that. I believe that we're all sent here to figure things out for ourselves. That's what is happening. And I can tell in terms of fate, we are no different from one another. Take that as you will. It's funny. You're the first person I've seen that see, uh, seen what seems to be like a lifetime. But after this, I feel I have nothing left to say to you. Actually, I do have one thing to ask. Do you see that machine to my left? I don't know for sure, but I have a feeling that's what has been keeping me alive all this time. I don't like it here, so I would have shut the thing off a long time ago. However, it, uh, uh, as you may be able to see... I can't move around very much, so I haven't really been able to do that. So, do you think you'll be able to shut the machine off? Let me move on to whatever's in store for me next. Of course, it's your choice whether or not you want to let me exit this thing gracefully. I'm not really in a position to force your hand. 
just do what you do what you feel is right. I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to switch his machine off. Thank you. And there he goes. Alright, let's leave. Hopefully I uh, won't get attacked. What is the music they've chosen to play in this bit? How long have I been playing this particular game? Because this was meant to be on the half an hour game section. This has been longer than half an hour. I feel like the music's getting louder. So I've got to get past that creepy fucker first, all right? Yeah, that music's getting louder. Oh, God. Do you miss it? Can you feel it? Oh. Have you looked at your choices lately? Are you still you? Can I leave? The other me. He must be gone now. I don't trust this area still, but there's music now. Oh, so lucky here. Am I done? Am I done? I see the monster has moved on. Listen, as you may already know, I am very willing to put you at great risk of losing life and limb just now. But, this is a big but. I did it with good intention. See, I may think, um, you may think I'm some kind of lazy bum, but it was a once, I was once a spring chicken like you. And back then, I tried to clean that damn painting myself. However, I sooner reached a point where I knew that staying any longer would certainly result in my death. It weren't that hard, dude. You must have been shy. If that were to happen, who would be here to guide people along, save their game, and give them moral encouragement? Nobody. And look at what that choice brought me. You were able to get that poor soul to move on, and, with, and all with my help. Now, I, wait, I know you may still be very justifiably angry at me right now, and I want to assure you your feelings are valid. However, I think I know of a way I can make it up to you. I'll tell you about things I never tell anyone else who steps foot in here. And that isn't just because you're the first one to survive the painting, mind you. Just give me, just give me a talking to if you're interested. Now, can I help you? Let's save, just in case. Talk. Who are you? You... You're really making me think that hard, pal? See, when someone walks in here, it's not like I know all about them. I have this feeling of what they did, their past, but that's it. A feeling. Let me put it this way. Do you know when, when you wake up, you can remember your dream, but only parts of it. And those parts where you do remember, sometimes they can be real hazy. Well, it's like that. All I have is this collection of bits and bobs, and they're all muddled up. But I can try, I can, but I can try to make sense of them for you, because you're my friend. Well, let's see. You were a person who liked to figure out what, uh, what's up from down. A detective, perhaps, or maybe just someone who likes puzzle games. You were always in for a good fight, too. And you saw out things that were strange. That is all. Okay. What is your purpose here? Ah. There's the toughest question of them all. I don't even know my perp what my purpose is, man. How am I supposed to know yours? Well... I guess I'm the one who puts this down as a conversation topic. And you are my friend now. 
I figure I do owe you at least an attempt at explaining this stuff. My guess is your purpose is to dif is too difficult. Wait, is your purpose isn't too different than those of the people you dealt with. See, um, how do I put this? Time is solid here. This place has a habit of keeping people still and silent, letting the days blend together until they are able until they are able to move on. That's it. And while you think that you're different, I don't know. You're very, uh, you very well might be in a standstill of your own. But I have the inkling that we're all the way. Wait, I have an inkling that there's a way out of it, just like there's, just like there was for people in those paintings. And I also have an inkling that, well, you know exactly what to do next. What I'm saying is this, friend. If we don't see each other on, on the other side, I bid you farewell. I've had a hell of a time helping you. Alright, let's save, because there's something going to go happen here. I've got a feeling I've got to keep going that way. There's one more painting. Mine, by any chance? Here we go. Looks like it's mine. You recognize the painting very, very well. Just like before, a small voice seems to be calling to you from within. It says... The end. Oh, that was it. That was good! It had some good writing. I mean, I fucked up reading it, so that probably would have been irritating to listen to. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I thought that was all right. I thought that was pretty good. Cool little uh, concept of a game. I like that. <laughs>